Aqui, né? Aqui, né? Big Mac. Big Mac. Big Mac. No. Big Mac. Oh. Not very, not very good on land, are we? Look, right there. That palm tree's annoying him. <laughs> Big Mac. Good job. Oh, let me see this. Let me see this. How are we healing? Ugh. It's healing. It's getting there, but this is uh, exposed bone. So the skin is going to grow underneath the bone and just push that off. So the exposed bone will be detached from the rest of it. It's already detached. Um, it's just not ready to fall off yet. So that's how alligators heal. It's crazy. So if we find it, one of these days we'll come in here and there'll be a piece like this, this big of just like, and it's going to be like this thin, really thin. So whatever's exposed, they'll just grow underneath it and then just push it right off. Look at that foot. That I know, wonky, that's crazy. wonky foot that's not attached. Big man. All right, you open. There you go. Yeah, good stuff. Good boy. Same right here. With the, you see the cracking right here? You're so crazy, I love you. What do you mean? Just like how well you understand them, because I would literally never ever do that with him. Oh, he's fine. He's not gonna do anything. <laughs> right there. And underneath right here. His head's so heavy. I know. He actually relaxed that time. I now I'm giving Dino his meds, which means sneaking up and jabbing him with the injection, which, as you can see, he does not like, but, you know, it's what's good for him. All right. Got him his meds. Oh, it's on. Aquila. Oh, man. Aquila. 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 That scrape on her nose is healing up. Nice. Aquila. There we go. Here are the baby Galapagos tortoises. So these are our personal animals though. We didn't rescue these guys. But this is the largest tortoise species in the world. They all grow to be huge. There you go, Jumanji. You're enjoying some bok choy. Cannot eat the phone, sir. Here's Theodore, our deformed rescue sulcata. So he's got really bad MBD and he was just found walking around 
uh, just loose. So it's an African species, just like Jumanji, same species. But he's got like this really deformed shell. Remember, it's supposed to be a dome. He's supposed to look like Jumanji. And you see how it like dips in and all deformed and whatnot, so. There he is munching down though. And then here are the Aldabra tortoises. They're the second largest tortoise species in the world, and they're both personal animals as well. So they're on top of a pile of hay. So they mainly eat a lot of hay. They're more of a grassland species, uh, but you know, we also give them some greens and whatnot too. These are two smaller rescue redfoot tortoises. So they were uh, owner surrender. And they got, you know, a little bit of pyramid and go on. It's not terrible. It's not good, but hopefully uh, over time that'll heal up on them since they're still young. Produce donations for the pigs and the goats. Enjoying a lot of tomato, got some plantains and cucumbers, and then just a lot of greens in there too. Redfoot's enjoying some. We got Fergus, the Black Burmese Mountain Tortoise, too. And don't worry, the stickers are edible. Everybody freaks out about that. They are completely edible, so don't worry. You can eat them, too. I don't know if you want to, but you can. So goofy. Feeding the kawadis now. So we've got some monkey biscuits, grapes, pepper, banana, papaya, carrot, uh, canned chicken, bee pollen across it, blueberries, baby food. These are like freeze dried, I think, duck. Um, I think that was everything. A whole bunch of stuff. Hazel. Good, good girl. So we're doing the fox training now. Hazel, come here. Good girl. So Hazel's getting some quail grinds and chicken grinds. Hazel. Good, good girl. Some peppers there too. Hazel. Good, good girl. Hazel. Good. Hazel. Good. Good girl. All right, here you go. You have the rest. Shippo is up there eating his food. Good. Kira. Good girl. Kira. Good girl. Good. Good. Good girl. Good. Good girl. Here you go. Kawadis are locked out, so now I'm just spraying everything down. Just uh, did all the poop scooping, spray it, and then I'm gonna do some bleach and scrub. Look at that. What a difference. You like your freshly clean habitat? Ready to poop in? Oh, 
come on. Petrie. Zazu. Jelly bean. There you go. You got a blueberry. Chloe, you got a banana? You got a banana? Yeah, you happy girl? Yeah. You happy with your banana? Olaf over here happy with his walnut. Yeah. <laughs> oh, puppy. Look at those emu. There's Cheeky. Look at these happy prairie dogs. Why, Poppy? Just, just eat your food. You should eat your food, Poppy. So I'm coming in to feed the uh, small parrots. And look at this spider. This thing's had a rough time. Whoop. So it, uh, it's supposed to have eight legs. Wonder what got a hold of you. Still a decent sized spider. I mean, it's pretty big, but missing those legs. Not particularly mobile. They look happy down there. I got some greens along with their food. All right, so time to give the uh, foxes their heart guard to protect them from heartworms. So we're gonna try to give one to Shippo first and then Hazel since uh, typically what happens is Hazel steals whatever Shippo has. So if we give it to him and then she steals it, then she's already got it. But if we give it to her first and then she steals his too, it's double, obviously. Oh, wow, that was easy. Heck yeah. All right. Hazel. Here, I'm gonna see if she'll come in the wall. Hazel. There you go. Perfect. So all the other foxes have been blowing out their winter coat, except Hazel. You can oh. see it all in the ground. <laughs> yeah. So, because uh, a lot of people are like, oh, you know, why does Hazel look good and everybody else looks like crap? Uh, she's, for some reason, seems like she's retaining her winter coat. Um, not really sure what's going on there. But either way, um, <laughs> everybody thinks the rest of them have a problem and she's normal and it's the opposite. Everyone else is normal. Everybody else is doing their summer coat right now. So they all look like mangy dis disasters right now. Uh, cause they blew out their winter coat. So this is summer look, it's you know, completely normal. hot girl summer. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, a lot of people are like, Oh my God, what's wrong with them? Like we even, we were warned by another, uh, fox keeper. Like, yep. 
<laughs> Once the summer comes, you're gonna have endless comments. Everybody thinking that your foxes are dying and they have mange and they have this and that because people don't understand that they have winter and summer coats. So do you Kira first? Sure. Look at how hideous poor Kira looks. Kira looks like a disaster. Kira. Look how long their legs look. Go girl, Kira. They're also on Brevecto, which um, it takes care of fleas and ticks and also prevents mange. So they don't have mange, guys. This is this is what they look like. This is totally normal. That's and it. then in the winter, they'll be beautiful again. Wow, that went super smooth. Yeah. It's amazing. Remember the first time we had to hide? The first time we had to give them prevention? What a nightmare that was. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Hiding it in like marshmallows. Everybody's stealing everybody else's. Are you so brave now that daddy's doing training with you girls? What do you think? Are you so brave? Are you so brave? So I just spotted this turtle along the perimeter fence. Real pretty. Looks like a peninsula cooter. Check out the claws. So it's a male. So the males have these very long claws on the front and that is for a courtship. See that? So you can see the one on the edge that's more like normal size and they have these super long ones. Use for a courtship. Pretty cool. Are you dancing? Are you dancing? Hello? Hi, Olaf. What are you doing? Are you dancing? Yeah? Hello? Hello? Hi, Olaf. Hi. Oh, you crazy. You dancing boy? Yeah? Look, he's having a great old time. Hi, Chloe. Hi, Chloe. Hi, Chloe. Hi, Chloe. Oh, look at her go. Hi, baby girl. Hi, Clo Clo. Oh, look at her. Look at her. Oh my goodness. Hi, baby. Hi, baby. Hi, Chloe. You crazy girl. Well, there goes Bella. Everybody asks how fast can Alligator to run. That was it. That was her sprinting. And I've only ever seen them do that going away from something. Here's Pebbles hanging out. He's got pretty eyes, huh? He loves being pet. He's very cuddly. All right, so we just wrangled all the emus into the enclosure here. Uh, normally the two girls free roam and we've been letting Pebbles free roam, but he's not coming back to eat. So we've been going out to check on him in the forest and we bring him water, but he's not eating anything. So we had to just catch him and I do mean catch him <laughs> and bring him back and put him in here because we got to contain him to get him to start eating because right now he just wants to be out in the forest wandering around. So I literally picked him up and I'm carrying him and then he obviously went crazy, so he kicked me, got me that good little slice right there. But this one, that ah, didn't feel very good. So, well, we got him in here. All right, so now he is eating, eating some kale all on his own. The evidence of our brawl. <laughs> Poor guy. <laughs> he totally freaked out. Look at this gang of misfits. Hi, Birdie. Hi, Comet. You were looking rough, Comet. Oh, don't you run from me. Look at this big turkey. Look at this big turkey. Let him puff up. So he's molting, so that's why he looks like crap. 
What's your excuse? All right, guys, bringing Olaf in. I already fed Jet and Asami, but my phone died, so I didn't film it. But, uh, hi. But now we're gonna go ahead and end the video and bring Olaf in. Say bye-bye. Bye-bye.